Uh, I'm all over this game. I've already got parlays going on this game from the weekend's uh, domestic. Uh, Leipzig plus 210, very fortunate uh, over the weekend away in Augsburg. Again, conceded a couple. They're plus 210, hosting Real Madrid, who I've got in the top five of my European rankings, uh, domestic level. And they're plus 120. They were plus 105. Bellingham's now out, who's been an absolute driving force for them. Then they their coach was in a crash this morning. Uh, no one's actually been hurt, but it's just another thing to add. And they've got other injuries as well. Draw plus 270. Um, Madrid to score twice is minus 115, which I think is an absolute given, because Leipzig are shocking at the back. Uh, Leipzig to score twice is plus 135. It's all about Real Madrid for me, Marco here. Yeah, I can understand that, especially off the back of um, Saturday night's destruction of, of Girona. Um getting now a five-point lead at the top of La Liga and doing so without any available centre-halves in that match. You know, Carvajal and Schumeni playing at centre-back and, and still being able to ride that game out with a 4-0 victory in emphatic fashion. Uh, Vinicius Jr. was absolutely sensational. Um, but they are due to get Nacho back this midweek, which will be a big boost to that defence. But, yeah, Bellingham, his absence is, is massive. There's no getting away from it. Um, he scored 20 goals across all comps this season for Real Madrid. That's a third you know of Do you know what his goals. season target was? Seven. <laughs> well, His I saw season was, target was seven. He was 10 to one just to score 10 goals across all competitions at the start of the season. And that was blown out of the water by September, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he scored or assisted in all five Champions League games. Um, he actually leads the way for chances created from open play in the Champions League this season, too. So he's a big absence. And look, Brahim, Brahim Diaz is a decent player, but he's a, a significant step down from where Bellingham is at. And you mentioned the other injuries. <laughs> he is. He's, well, you can't compare him to Bellingham, can you? No, I like him. I don't, can you, can <laughs> we actually compare? Is, yes. is only Kevin De Bruyne a layer? Is only Kevin De Bruyne really in the same class as Bellingham at the moment? I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I can't think. I think Bellingham is genuinely one of the yeah, best players in the world right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah I, think huge, I think them too. Just brilliant. Um, They're everything you'd want. <laughs> so, Brahim Diaz isn't Bellingham. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, but, but yeah, those those injuries elsewhere, I think they are significant. Courtois is is a big loss, um, as he has been for a long time now. Alaba, Militao, Rudiger, um, key men in defence. Really, um, which me, for me makes Real Madrid not quite as formidable as potentially they could be going here. Um, obviously, Leipzig won this game last year, 3-2. I wouldn't be too surprised to see another kind of shootout between these two teams because Leipzig do pack a punch for all their faults and, and issues at the back. Going forward, they have got a glut of good attacking players in final form. Xavi, Luis Appenda, Tesco, uh, Dani Olmo's back from injury now too. And they've got a great goal-scoring record in Leipzig too. If you look at their Champions League record, they've scored 19 of the last 20 home games, which is exceptional, really. They've played some really good teams there, Man City a few times, Real Madrid, and they score goals, but they do concede them too. Yeah. So their last 13 home Champions League ties, 12 have gone BTTS, uh, 11 have seen over two and a half goals, just the one clean sheet. And it's difficult to see them keeping Real Madrid out, um, You know, one of the best sort of counter-attacking transition teams in Europe. And I do think Leipzig will have to be aggressive, be proactive, force the issue here to try and stay in this tie. And I think that will play into Real Madrid's hands, you know, with Rodrigo and Vinicius in particular running in behind. So um, I can see goals for both teams. I think it's going to be quite an enjoyable, possibly the best, uh, most entertaining game of this mid midweek coupon. So um, absolutely, I've got Leipzig scoring in this game, but I think Real Madrid will absolutely contribute too. So I've gone overs and BTTS. Um, I would have been pro Real Madrid had Bellingham be playing and not Brahim Diaz. Yeah, oh I, I, and you know, <laughs> listen, and, and, uh, yeah. Um, the problem I have with Leipzig is uh, they're not great at creating. They score under 15 goals because they've got such good energy and pace uh, in the final third. But the defenders, the fullbacks, are nothing short of championship standard defending. And on one side, you've got Rodrigo, and on the other, Vinny Jr. You match up Madrid's strengths without Bellingham. It just fits like a square peg in a square hole against Leipzig's uh, weaknesses, Mina. Yeah, I agree with you. I think having those two players, um, even though Vinny Jr. is, I mean, they, they're so fluid, right? They can move centrally, they can move out wide. Mm. Um, you've got Mendy there as well. There's going to be so much action going down the wings. And, and I just think that 
this is it about Bellingham. We've always known that he's a great player, but it is that combination of being coached by somebody like Carlo Ancelotti, who's turned Vinicius Jr. into a sublime performer. When the guy at the time used to be, um, everyone used to complain about him in newspapers about how he couldn't shoot uh, on target to save his life. Um, under Ancelotti, he's turned into the most efficient uh, winger, striker, attacker, whatever he is now. He's, he's everything. And Bellingham is just outscoring everyone. But I'm not so down on Brahim Diaz. I think one of the thing is, is obviously, he is not Bellingham. Um, and I do think sometimes his desperation. But I do think he's very talented. Uh, and I do think he has exceptional room for growth. So maybe he'll never be Bellingham, but I don't think he'll be too far off in the future. And I know that sounds like I'm being overly optimistic, but this is kind of what Real Madrid think themselves. But his opportunities are limited by the fact that he has a superstar ahead of him. He's great on the counter-attack. And so having that opportunity, if there is space to, to really exploit, then he is the right man going forward. And if you have Vinicius Jr. there, this is, this is to me looking like a goal fest because it's exactly like you said. Um, Red, um, Red, uh, Leipzig have... Uh, have Appenda and Sesco, and for me, they really scare me. And there's only five teams that have outscored them in this competition, one of them being Real Madrid. But they do know how to score goals. Um, but I agree with you, obviously, because they've only won one in their last six um, coming into this game. So we also know that they know how to concede, and it was really a tough watch against Augsburg over the weekend. So they're by no stretch of the imagination great teams, and they have faced a, a real lull uh, recently because uh, of, of um, the fact that two of their losses have come in January. Um, there's always the opportunity there. Nacho is not the tallest of men. Um, sometimes he's a little bit too negative and Chow Mane is obviously playing out of position. But if we see them against Girona, the fact that they've got Carlo Ancelotti, I find it so hard to ever, ever go against Real Madrid, even with all the absences. And there are just so many to note from Courtois to Mendy, um, just like um, just like has already been mentioned. But several, several absences. And yet, despite all of that, I actually think even with Brian Diaz, this will be an easy win for, for Madrid. Yeah, uh, listen, Leipzig struggled. I had Augsburg. I went money line. I basically I recommended to many people to take the double chance, but I went money line Augsburg, uh, and they, they just. The Real Madrid players, then they will be wanting very, very quickly. But again, Leipzig have been known to be Jekyll and Hyde, especially when it comes to home games in the Champions League. Let's have a little look at the official picks because this this price does actually come under the guise of trap or gift. Because what plus one twenty for Madrid, uh, Real Madrid money line plus one twenty. Yeah, I've gone with Mina. Uh, both teams scoring over two and a half at minus 120. Yeah, I'm hoping it's 3-1 Real Madrid and Real Madrid are up three and we get the little consolation late on. Um, and I did double dip by the way because I went with the team total as well. Rare it is. Real Madrid, I think they scored two. So minus 115, it gives it's me a, a free one. hit on the plus 115.